Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card by Vanguard Shaman King Faust the Eighth deck profile. This is a deck that focuses on sort of like a Zorga Grand Blue playstyle, setting up your drop zone with many different cards that you will mill from the top of your deck and then be able to either call out or add units with Eliza in their card name, which is Faust the Eighth's wife and also spirit in the series. It's a really interesting deck that focuses on the Necromancy Order. Order, along with a bunch of different skeleton units, including the skeleton army tokens, and Eliza herself. So that's going to be the big focus of this deck. Unlike some of the other Shaman King decks, this deck doesn't really use too, too many other cards that are other units and names, because you do want to focus on as much as you can just, you know, Eliza and Faust all together. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the ride deck, our starter is Faust the Eighth. When wrote upon, if you went second, draw a card. Our grade one is Omniscious Presence, Faust the Eighth. When this unit is placed on Vanguard by riding from Faust the Eighth, discard the top five cards of your deck, search your drop zone for up to one card with Eliza and its card name, and put it into your hand. So even if you use the Eliza from your hand as a discard cost, you can at least send the top five and still have a card to add back to your hand that's why it's good just to use it as a discard cost for the ride deck because then you'll at least have that guaranteed add if there wasn't one from the top five cards our grade two is inheriting madness faust the eighth when the team is placed on vanguard by riding from omniscious presence faust the eighth you can carry plus one discard the top five cards of your deck and put all necromancy from your drop zone into your hand so the necromancy is the order that you want to run in the deck just to set up all your skeleton army tokens on the field being the fact that faust the eighth is obviously a necromancer you want to run full majority of those orders along with our main go-to grade three which is together with beloved faust the eighth has the unit on the vanguard for the ride deck it's a very important part of the setup being able to set up more skeleton army tokens and also summon out your calcium giant onto the field but along with this grade three we are also wanting to run i was going back and forth with mixed copies of the calcium giant and also mephisto e faust the eighth this card can only be ridden from a grade three with faust the eighth and its card name and on vanguard circle once per turn you can soul blast two choose a card with eliza and its card name from your drop call it to rear and it gets plus fifteen thousand power until end of turn and with its oversoul on vanguard you can put a rear guard with eliza and its card name into your soul and this unit gets plus ten thousand to end of turn for each card with eliza and its card name in your soul so this is just basically the full dedication of faust the eighth to eliza now calcium giant it cannot be normal called to the rear you have to uh, call it with cards like your uh, faust the eighth that's why the more you get for mephisto e faust the eighth you can take out copies of calcium giant since this card focuses more on eliza than calcium giant so the more copies you get just replace them with mephisto e but along with the additional copies of the Mephisto E for Faust the Eighth, you do want to run three copies of uh, together with the beloved Faust the Eighth. This card is just good for the setup. It can also have the Persona Ride option, but once you go into your Mephisto E Faust the Eighth, you have this option to go for as well. But just like all the other, I would say, cross rides for the series. But with this card on Oversoul, put a rear guard with Eliza and its card name into your soul. Counter charge one, choose up to one normal unit with Eliza and its card name from your drop zone and call it to rear, giving you more of the setup that you're meant to do with your grade one. And on Vanguard, you can counter plus one, retire three skeleton army tokens, choose up to one calcium giant from your hand or drop zone and call it to rear. That's why also when you add in more copies of Mephisto E, it's okay for the calcium giant because it retires anyway and you can just call it back from your drop zone onto the field anyway. Moving on now to the uh, grade twos, along with the Eliza setup, I'm also running four copies of Necromancer, Faust the Eighth. I have some of the 10Ks from the trial deck in here, just as a placeholder, we do want to run four copies of Necromancer, Faust the Eighth. On rear guard, choose a card with Eliza and its card name with a counter blast of one from your drop zone, call it to rear in the same column as this unit. And on rear, when this unit attacks, discard the top two cards of your deck and it gets plus 2,000 to end of battle. So it's just another Eliza setup for the potential oversoul the following turn, but still just a counter blast to call a rear guard is always good for any of the decks we have in the Shaman King series. Moving on now to the grade ones. We do run a pretty high grade one count just because that's the majority of what Eliza is in the deck with our main one being beloved wife, Eliza. If your Vanguard is Faust the Eighth and its card name and oversold this turn, this unit gets plus 10,000 and critical plus one. So the critical plus one and 10,000 really does help because then you have that set up along with Mephisto E setting up in another Eliza on the field. And at the end of the battle that this unit attack, you can count plus one, retire three skeleton army 
army tokens to restand this unit. This can be your multiple attack option in the deck, attacking with Eliza first, and then counter blasting and retiring those tokens to restand and attack with her again. I also run four copies of Manifested Form Eliza. During the battle, this unit boosted a unit with Faust the Eighth and its card name. It gets plus 5,000 power. So you just want more and more copies of Eliza in the deck as well. So you have targets to hit with your Faust the Eighth, whether you use it for that or any of the copies in the ride deck as well for the mill search. Having this along with your triggers means you at least have a good chance to hit a card with Eliza to then call back onto the field or add back to your hand. I also run three copies of Pet of the Faust family, Frankenstein. -y. When this unit is placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard with Faust the Eighth in its card name, look at top two cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with each with Faust the Eighth or Eliza in their card names from among them. Reveal them, put them into your hand, and discard the rest. More search power with this card. It's a three of, just because I did want to focus more on Eliza, if I could, but still very, very good in the deck with the last grade one being four copies of Itako Ana Kiyama. You can run the main set trial deck. Uh, uh, you don't have to run the trial deck one. You can run the main set Sentinel as well, if you wish, this is just a more budget option for players until you can get the Sentinel Choice to run in this deck as well. And moving on now to the orders, one of the important orders in the deck, obviously, is Necromancy. You play this if you have a unit with Fast the Eighth and its card name. When this unit is put into the order zone, look at the top two cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with Eliza and its card name from among them. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and discard the rest. And from the order zone, if you have a Vanguard with Fast the Eighth and its card name, bind three cards from your drop zone. Call up to the same number of skeleton army tokens to your rear guard as the number of Necromancy in your order zone. So you want to set up Necromancy as quickly as possible because the more you have, the more skeleton army tokens you can rise from the dead and call onto the field thanks to Faust the Eighth, and then use those same cards to set up Calcium Giant, and then also have just cards to retire to restand your other cards like Eliza. This card definitely does set up all your plays in the deck, so it is a definite four of. Moving on now to the trigger units for the criticals. I'm going with eight crits, so four copies of Mindless Strike Eliza, just so you have another Eliza to oversoul with, and four copies of Unyielding Battle, Amida Amaro. You can use the Ryukets, uh critical that puts into soul for plus two, but if you don't have it, then just one from the trial deck is just as good. With the next option being, I'll go anywhere with you, Eliza. Three copies of this card, just for more of a pressure with the front row, especially with the grade one Eliza that can restand. And for our heal, running four copies of Happy Memories, Eliza, from the trial deck as well. But the fact that it is a heal for Eliza means that the good majority of our triggers in the deck can be her to at least have better options for searching cards off of the mill or even just going for the oversoul. With the trigger of choice being the close pair under the moonlit night for the order option, and then also just the additional uh, card ability to deal one damage to your opponent. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. It's definitely an interesting deck. The more I read about it, the more the setup for it reminded me so much more of Zorga and Grand Blue. So if you're a fan of either of those two decks in Card by Vanguard, this would definitely be the deck for you if you're also a fan of Shaman King. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.